Have you ever had the unsatiable urge to kill? Have you ever wanted to make a character so ugly that there is no way in any laws of physics in any reality that it should exist? Have you wanted to travel a fantasy land doing whatever you please, taking and giving and doing whatever you want? Well, let me introduce you to Baldur's Gate 3. Baldur's Gate 3 is an open world RPG where you can do anything your heart desires. Killing random innocent, to saving an entire village, you name it, Baldur's Gate 3 has it. That means it's perfect for everyone, including being an ugly evil git whose only sole purpose is to kill everyone and everything he ever comes in contact with. And that's exactly what we're doing here today. So splitting this video up into lots of different parts, it'll be a little mini series. I hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe. Just another quick reminder that this whole uh, video or whole series of videos is going is streamed live on my Twitch channel, uh, which you can find it here. Uh, please go and check it out. Drop a follow, and uh, that's where you'll see a lot more of these videos live bef like before editing. And um, it's a great time over there. So please come by, and uh, I hope to see you there. All right. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. All right. Time for a fucked up Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough. Alright. Time for the best part. The character creation. Let's see, who do we want to be? It'd be funny if we were a small person. But we could also be a very an ugly dragonborn. How far do we want to take this? Actually, we could do a Dark Urge playthrough. Just wanting to fucking kill everything. I reckon we do that one. Dark Urge dragonborn. Or just a gnome that just has a... Is just like just a bloodthirsty gnome. I reckon we can do that. Right, we're gonna go for a rock gnome because our heart is made of stone. Or a warlock, actually. A warlock would make a lot more sense. Let's do a warlock. Let's just be a little fountain of absolute mayhem. Have to go with Eldritch Blast. Can't not go with Eldritch Blast. Probably have to go with the Fiend Day. Eh? That's more. That's more on brand. Haunted one. Wicked moment personal thing that cannot be slain by sword or spell haunts your mind and flickers in your peripheral vision. You carry it wherever your adventures take you, or perhaps it carries you. Alright, so we need it. We got the high charisma stat. Strength isn't, like, a must-have, because we'll be relying on spells mostly. But it's still nice not to have negative strength. Alright, now time for the fun part. And we have to make him absolutely hideous, of course. He can be an angry old guy. You know what? He works. <laughs> I don't know what color. We make him just super pale, and then we'll name him Kyle. And he just drinks monster energy drinks and wears a wife beater. Scarring do we want on his face? The door just magically opened, even though I thought it closed it. Darko just coming for me. See that one? Make him really old. Have a lot of freckles that are really visible. <laughs> and absolutely just... Michael Jackson the hell out of him. You know, let's do that one. Make it like a really obscene color. Oh my god, that looks awful. Let's do a steel because he has an iron heart. Yes. Make him look absolutely terrible. This looks like it's a part of his pi uh, pigmentation. What piercings can we give you? The sword daggers. The little horn earrings. Yeah, let's do that. That goes well. Let's give him two different colored eyes. Do one pink and one just very normal looking eye. <laughs> Definitely not attractive. We go with another white to ma match his pigmentation. Should we give him makeup? Very intense makeup. <laughs> that just is so out of place with the butterflies. God, that looks awful. Kind of really red lips, even though you can't see under the lips now. That would just have to go all out. All right, hair. We've got a lot of hair to choose from. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god, look at this Harley Quinn fucking wannabe, bro. I think like the, the pigtails might, oh my god, just straight up shadow hearts here. Holy shit, that's Holly Quinn. God, there it is. I think we found it. I think we found it. Make it a, oh my god. Oh, this hurts to look at. This hurts. It hurts a lot. But that beads, it's perfect, right? Oh my god, highlight. Jesus Christ. Looks like Elmo and Barney had a threesome and just this guy popped out. The fucking tomato sauce and mustard hair. Oh yeah. That's a look. Fucking McDonald's sponsorship in this. That's perfect. Graying. You can add a third color in there. Oh my god. That just looks so fuck. Ew! This is what we have. This is what gaming has come to. Look like a moldy hot dog, man. Perfect. Big full beard too. But this beard has more jiggle physics than half the things in this game. Or we can give him the J Schlatt. What if we did? What if we just gave him mutton chops and called him J Schlatt? Or cinnamon toast Ken? 
Oh my god, him without a beard looks so fucking weird. It's actually, what? If it, I think clean shaven might actually be the most cursed thing here. I think I like the idea of, oh wait, the plaited beard. That might be the go. Moldy hot dog man. Astral spicy pepper. Perfect. He definitely has um one of those faces only a mother could love type thing. Right, let's have a look at this. What should we change? What should we make of his name? There we go. We have our patron, the main character. Definitely main character material. You see this man? Not even the Sims could replicate this man. What's a name? What's a name that we could make him? Actually, hang on. I might fuck with his stats a bit. I reckon we just make him super dumb. <laughs> just super dumb in regards to mental capacity, but make him really charismatic and super strong. Man has no mental capacity whatsoever. Actually dumb as a rock. What's the name for this beautiful gentleman? Let's do a um, Tim Jickens reference to Call Me Kevin's Jim Pickens. I don't know how he spelt it, but that's how I'm gonna, that's how we're doing Pim Jickens. Tim Jickens. I forgot about this kind. We could either make him really ugly too. We'll make we'll make him a gnome as well. Another rock gnome as well. Make him really old and just a fucking butt fuck ugly color for a gnome. There we go. Little sh Shrek gnome. A shroom. Really old. A lot of pigment. Oh my fucking god. Okay. That looks fucking awful. Bro. <laughs> it looks like he fucking did like just smashed his face in a bowl of tomato soup. This guy's like, wait, he's coming? I have to get ready. Where's my tomato soup? <laughs> I have like one very normal human looking eye. Black. Let's do that one. Makeup. Oh, cause he he definitely needs something to fucking cover up. Holy shit. Looks like he hasn't gotten sleep in decade. Oh my god, that just looks like it's his skin color. Oh, it looks like he's it's all like swollen from like scratching around his eyes. It's disgusting. Let's do that. Glossy, make it look like it's fucking Inflamed. Ew, bro. Does his lip color really matter? It's fucking green. Hairstyle's the most most important part after this. We just give him Shadow Hearts hair. That's gonna really fuck with me. Oh my god. Most out hair, out there hair. You know what? Let's not make it too, let's make it completely different from our character. <laughs> it's not that different. It is literally our character's hair. Yeah, alright, that's perfect. What color? Mato suit. No, that's the same char character color as our characters. Oh my god, those colors, those colors just don't match. Kind of make me feel sick. <laughs> Dude. Everything he touches is just infested with some form of green. We do like a pink graying intensity. Yuck, man. He looks like a tie-dyed Barbie doll. Like, holy shit. Oh, what am I making? What am I making? I, I don't know, but... I love it, but I don't at the same time. It, it's just freaking me the fuck out, really, to be honest. Alright, let's give him the mutton chops. Kinda looks like LGBTQ J Schlatt. Definitely. Alright, this is what we got. This is what we're rocking with. Let's hop straight into it. We are the Dirge. The Dirge. Urge. This is my first time doing a Dark Urge playthrough, so this is gonna be interesting anyway. Oh my god, we look... fucking like an accident. There's no way this, as a character, would be intentional. In any blood universe. In your head thrums and pounds. That pounding blood obscures who you are. An overwhelming loss of memory. How you ended up amidst these hellish flames is just as hidden. You have <laughs> Maybe the fact is we look like this. Besides your name and a headache. But you are in danger. Mandanger. Let's just curse him. The torturer behind this cruel prank will meet your malice when you get out of here. What, your existence? Because that would be me. Now that sounds like your first good idea. Yeah, yourself. The exposed brain quivers. No way we passed a perception check. You have no right to look disgusted. Look at you. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer. How? How are we passing intelligence checks? We have negative intelligence. Brother. Remove us from this body. Yeah, let's do let's do break the skull. Because at least we can do that, right? What the fuck? What are you talking about? How? How does that make sense? All right, well, goodbye us. Too bad, no us for us. Dude, there's no way we have negative intelligence. Pass the intelligence checks. And the one that we actually have a plus two on, we get a fucking nat one. That's crazy. I already can tell how this playthrough is going to go. Look at the fucking icon in the bottom corner there. He's going to be staring at me the whole time. I don't feel too good about it. 
Oh yeah, this is where we get to meet Lazel. Why did you change your name? Kind of wanted to. Abomination. This is your end. That's fair enough. I I would definitely call that an abomination. I'd want to kill him too. And a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. I'm surprised I didn't scream when oh. I saw my own face. You are no thrall. Vlakith blesses me this day. Really? Together, You're blessed looking at that. We might survive. <laughs> I don't care how dire my situation is, I'm not traveling with someone that looks like that. Alright, what do you suggest? First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. Fair enough. Time to do some fighting. Get this guy. My fury. And Eldritch Blast you to pull him back. So we have maxed out charisma. No, not on Pim Chickens. <laughs> I'm not gonna get over that name. Oh yeah, easy. You proved surprisingly adequate in battle. Yeah, it was definitely surprising that I was able to do anything. We need to get out before it's too late. Yeah, we're trying, brother. And damn, I know you're dumb as a rock, but why are you backseat gaming when you're the main character? My ah, random button, let's push it. If you see a random button on a ship filled with aliens, can't just leave it alone. I'll just blast away from me for your own safety. God damn it, you can't do anything right. Peace. There we go, he finally did something right. Even the way you run is, like, special. <laughs> to say the least. Shadowheart, one of the main heroines. Heroiners. There's magic at work here. Determine what kind. I swear to god, if we pass another intelligence check, I'm going to freak out. I'm about to freak out. We have negative intelligence. How does that work? See, I want to help her, but the fact that my dark urge pisses me off because I'm not supposed to be helping her. <laughs> need that for later. I think I need to rescue her just because I need her command spell anyway. So, because I need that sword. So I'll rescue her anyway. But for my own benefits, that's still I'm, I'm still being an evil douchebag. Shut up, Shadowheart. I'm making my way downtown. The console hums to life. Didn't even need the rune. Bruh. There's no way we pass another one, right? Holy shit. Why have intelligence stats when you can just have the fucking dice? Suddenly you feel a hideous squirming in your head. God, that is an ugly fucking face. Man has never had authority in his life. Bruh, if we roll a two. <laughs> we roll a two. Oh my god. I was gonna start losing it laughing. Hello, Shadowheart. I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. No, but I will. You keep dangerous company. If you think Let she's dangerous, in. you need to check your eyes. Watch and have you looked at me? <laughs> Let's get going. I'm Pim Chickens. Mm -hmm. Gotta get my Rubik's Cube. She's right. Lead on. We're leading on now. Take a hit of this really quick. Oh, now I need to go into your inventory. Get rid of that, because I think that spell's actually useless. Alright, here we are. We are nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. King Yank. You just swore in Githyanki, I think. Surprising, that is not yet the most that is not the most disgusting thing I've already seen. It's shocking, isn't it? deal with the gate after we escape. Bet. Right, Shadowheart. You need to drop that weapon. There we go. I'd attack him too. Everyone wants a piece of Pim Chicken. Pick that up. And voila, we now have an OP weapon to start the game off with. Back away for your own personal safety. Hurry before they strike. It's up 13 turns, Lazel. Chill the fuck out. Hit him with the transponder. After much trial and tribulation, his stubby little legs finally made it. 
He's flying. The moldy hot dog can fly. I'd be praying that I died. Unfortunately, that's not how these games go. Only you knew what was coming. I'd be staring like that too. Mind players like looking at like a fucking little kid staring at someone with a, someone with a disability while they're walking around. Please hit your head and die. Oh. Why'd you have to be so lucky? You half expected your memories to return once you were free of the Mind Flayer ship. But your past is still an aching void. If you don't find a way to remove the tadpole burrowed in your brain soon, your future will be as blank as your past. Well, wouldn't your that be a good one? Whispers vengeance. You cannot wait to slice your way forth, seeking whatever wrought this tragedy upon you. Indeed. Aren't you moldy hot dog? I'm gonna get going. And that's the end of part one. I didn't really have an outro because it's like the half of a stream. So I just thought I'd do one really quickly just so it doesn't feel like I just left you hanging. Um, Yeah, like I said before, this is this is all going to be streamed live on my Twitch, which again, you can find right here. Come drop a follow. We're playing other games as well. We'll be playing quite a bit of Apex. Um, We started the new... Uh, Center was Sacrifice Hellblade 2 recently. So that's also going to be another little mini series that we got going. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you there. And I hope to see you around here next time once more.